Hello loves, Janine Brown of JTB Love Ministry and welcome back to my channel. 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 7 through 11 read, quote, For you yourselves know how you ought to follow us. For we were not disorderly among you, nor did we eat anyone's bread free of charge, but worked with labor and toil night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you, not because we do not have authority, but to make ourselves an example of how you should follow us. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this, if anyone will not work, neither shall he eat, end quote. Just before the second coming of Jesus Christ, the Bible prophesies that at the end of the age, a globalistic and socialistic one world government will arise, controlled by elite bankers, large corporations, and politicians, ruled by the most evil political leader and false prophet the world has ever known. Yes, the Bible says the end time governments will be socialist, but will America be part of that one world government and religious system? Today's teaching, Trump halted it, now it's back. Is America's future globalism, socialism? Hell no, and here's why. Before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you will be notified of future teachings. Also, with all the censoring going on, if you would like to send us your email address to keep in touch in the event we are taken down, our email address and website can be found in the description box below. Thank you for helping us spread the good news of the second coming of Jesus Christ. JTB Love Ministry appreciates your support. And if this is your first time to our channel, welcome and thank you for listening. So let's talk about it. First, Let's define socialism. Simply put, it's communism. The government dictates how each person can live their life and maintains strict controls over society. Now, what is globalism? A one world government consisting of a global governance, open borders, and a one world religious system. Now, let's think principalities and powers. Think the false prophet, the antichrist. Revelation 13 verse 16 reads, quote, he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, end quote. The U.S. is a capitalist nation, but ever since the Obama-Biden socialist agenda of 2008 to 2016, socialism has crept into the United States at breakneck speed. But when Donald Trump became president in 2017 with an agenda of America first, he slowed it down. And this is why he was harassed, attacked, and hated so much by democratic socialists throughout his presidency. However, after the 2018 midterm elections, Republicans lost control of the House. And we saw the rise of democratic socialists, Alexandria Cortez, Ilhan Omar, and others elected to Congress. And they are growing exponentially, something all Americans should be alarmed about. The promise of free education, free health care, free everything is attracting millennials and young people in high school and college, indoctrinated by liberal Jesus-mocking and Jesus-hating teachers and professors. They have been trained that capitalism is bad and that socialism is a good thing, not fully understanding that nothing is free. Somebody is going to be taxed to pay for it. Beijing Biden has announced his $1.9 trillion stimulus plan, but whether we the people receive that $2,000 stimulus check, an extended unemployment, or a $15 an hour minimum wage, we have to ask ourselves, just where is the money coming from? Socialism destroyed the Roman Empire, and before its fall, there was massive land losses, decline in values and morals, public health and diseases, urban decay, division, invasion by foreigners and groups, government corruption, and political instability and inflation. Sounds a lot like where America is heading or under a democratic socialist who now has control of all three branches of government. Will history repeat itself if they remain in office? God forbid. Vladimir Lenin, the Russian communist revolutionary and politician said, quote, socialism leads to communism, end quote. We do not want the United States to be a part 
of that under any circumstances. And no matter what our personal or financial situations might, might be, we must not be tempted by their false doctrine of free everything. It's a doctrine of demons that we must resist. America became the most powerful nation in the world and the richest because of capitalism, not socialism. You want the American dream? You want capitalism. You want nationalism? You want America first. The elites, the fake news, the celebrities have become wealthy because of capitalism, not socialism. And we cannot allow their lies and satanic propaganda make us ignorant of the dangers to human liberties posed by socialism, but rather expose them. Ephesians 5, verses 11 through 17 read, quote, Take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, expose them. It is shameful even to talk about the things that ungodly people do in secret, but their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them, for the light makes everything visible. This is why it is said, awake, O sleeper, rise up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. End quote. In short, occupy before Jesus comes. So here we are in Biden's first week of what I believe to be a temporary administration. With the stroke of Biden's pen, thousands of jobs have been lost. We have become less safe and deeper in debt. In his first week in office, Joe has issued about 40 executive orders. Here are some of the most significant. He rejoins the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, which President Trump exited the U.S. from in November 2017. He ended the construction of the U.S.-Mexico border wall. He rejoined the World Health Organization, which President Trump abandoned in July 2020. He reversed Trump's travel, travel ban from predominantly Muslim countries. He halted the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline, paused President Trump's executive order that discounted the price of insulin and EpiPens for low-income Americans, he repealed Trump's Mexico City policy that banned international groups from receiving U.S. aid that promoted or performed abortions and is planning to force Americans to send their tax dollars to Planned Parenthood so they can continue to murder babies. Jesus said at Matthew 24, 4, quote, be careful, no one deceives you, end quote. We only had two choices in this election, an agenda of life or an agenda of death. Yet a recent Pew study shows 46% of Christians voted for the agenda of death, the global and socialist communist party, again, of death. Businesses and employment flourished under Trump. But the deceived that voted for the devil's folks are now seeing that the Biden administration consists of a bunch of liars and are having buyer's remorse. Videos are showing up all over social media of families affected by the insulin executive order and are finding now their insulin costs to be as much as $1,000. And the labor unions who on inauguration day bragged about getting Biden elected are now tweeting and racing onto every fake news network complaining that they are, quote, deeply disappointed, said the head of the North American Building Trades Union, which endorsed Mr. Biden in October, quote, will kill thousands of good paying union jobs, end quote, tweeted the Laborers International Union of North America. Quote, sadly, the Biden administration has now put thousands of union workers out of work, end quote, lamented the United Association of Union Plumbers and Pipe Fitters, end quote. And now the Wisconsin Democrats in Congress are calling for Biden to reconsider the shutting down of the Keystone Pipeline. Buyer's remorse is increasing every day. Thus, when you turn your back on God, every step you take is a step down. A recent poll said that only 11% of Democrats believe that Biden is doing a good job. But here's the thing. The devil's folks don't care. They are too evil. But as Rabbi Jonathan Kahn says, when their cup of iniquity is full, God will turn his wrath upon them. And I also believe that those who voted for Beijing Biden will turn their anger on his administration. There were several times in ancient Israel 
where Jehovah God caused his enemies to turn on each other. First Samuel 14 verses 19 through 20 read, quote, while Saul was talking to the priests, the tumult in the Philistine camp increased more and more. So Saul said to the priests, withdraw your hand. Then Saul and all his men assembled and went to the battle. They found the Philistines in total confusion, striking each other with their swords, end quote. The push toward a globalist and socialist agenda in America has been going on for decades, but the Bible tells us that we will not be part of the end time one world government, but that does not mean that we will not have the continued push for socialist principles like mandatory masks and vaccines with the goal that if you do not conform, they will starve you into submission by not allowing you to go to the grocery store, get a job, get on an airplane. They're just demonic. And the democratic socialists in academia who never had to suffer under socialism and communism to be praising it is repulsive. The notion that socialism is good, we need only to look to Venezuela. Socialism only works if citizens have no rights and voices in opposition suppressed, just like we are seeing today from the democratic socialists. America is abandoning free speech and fair elections are too. Daniel 11.33 reads, quote, those who are wise will instruct many, end quote. Do we want to live in a nation where major industries are owned by the government and not individuals and their companies, where rights are granted not by God, but by Satan, I'm sorry, but by the state that can take them away at any time, or group supremacy, where for the good of the whole, they squelch individual rights, like the right not wanting to have your taxes pay for abortions, or coercion versus freedom by closing churches and businesses because of a virus, else they fine or arrest you. And last but not least, wealth distribution. Folks, this is socialism. This is communism. Are we living in the end time? We do not have to speculate because we are living through it right now. So how is this one world government prophesied in the end times? Revelation 13 prophesies that an end time one world government will be run by the Antichrist prior to the second coming of Jesus Christ. But will the Antichrist, one world government, one world religious system control the whole world? The answer is a resounding no. And here's why. Daniel 11 verses 41 through 42 says, quote, he will enter the glorious land of Israel and many nations will fall. But Moab, Edom, and the best part of Ammon will escape, end quote. This is present-day Jordan, and it appears from this scripture, scripture that Jordan will not be under the control of the Antichrist. They escape. And the Antichrist will hear of news and rumors of countries opposing him, and that will alarm him. In Daniel 11, 44, it says, quote, but news from the east and the north shall trouble him. Therefore, he shall go out with great fury to destroy and annihilate many, end quote. If the Antichrist is controlling the entire world, then why would he be alarmed by the news from the east and the north? Why would he be invading other countries? The presence of wars establishes the fact that the Antichrist does not control every nation, but that there are resisting governments whose mil militaries he does not control. And the Antichrist will not control Israel or the United States. Revelation 12, verses 13 through 14 reads, quote, Now, when the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman, that's Israel, who gave birth to the male child. But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle, that's the United States, that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the presence of the serpent. In the book of Revelation, beasts are nations. And notice the scripture again that says the woman was given two wings of a great eagle and escapes from the presence of the serpent. That's Satan. What nation is represented again by the eagle? Of course, the United States. And the United States is dedicated to God, just like Israel. We are the end time generation. And yes, the Antichrist is alive today. And that is one thing most theologians agree on. But until Satan enters him like he entered Judas Iscariot, he is unaware of his future calling. And even though it will be a hard time for Christians and many will be martyred, do not lose heart. 
Daniel 11, 32 gives believers an encouraging word. And it reads, quote, but the people that know their God shall be strong and do great exploits, end quote. As always, before I end the video, I would like to give anyone listening who does not know Jesus the opportunity to make him the Lord of your life. Or if you have walked away from God and want to rededicate your life, today is the day of salvation. If you are sick, depressed, feeling hopeless, and want peace and hope in your life, I invite you to open your heart and receive the Prince of Peace, Jesus the Christ. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. I ask you, dear Jesus, to come into my heart, be my Lord and my Savior. Cleanse me, fill me, change me. Let me never be the same again. And right now, by faith and the shed blood of Jesus, I am saved. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Welcome to the family of God. If you said that prayer, pray and ask Jesus to lead you to a church that is preaching the truth of his word, his whole counsel. And in the meantime, download a Bible app. I like the New King James Version. And you can contact us on our website in the description box below. Get yourself a Bible so you can mark it up. Highlight scriptures right in the margins as you get excited learning the word of God. God bless everybody listening. And again, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to click the notification bell so that you may be notified of future teachings. And remember, when in doubt, pull your Bible out. God bless you.